It was June 23, 1978, at a Holiday Inn in Flint, Michigan. Amidst the whirlwind of the Who's tour in the late 70s, drummer Keith Moon found himself at the center of a riotous and legendary incident that would cement his reputation as a rock and roll wild man. In the summer of 78, the band was staying at a Holiday Inn in Flint, Michigan. After a raucous performance, Moon, known for his extravagant and mischievous personality, decided to add a touch of his signature chaos to the evening's proceedings. Under the cover of darkness, Moon and a few of his friends commandeered a forklift from a nearby construction site. In a move that could only be conceived in the mind of Moon himself, they drove the forklift straight through the hotel lobby doors, startling guests and staff alike. With a roar of the engine and a cacophony of crashing glass, Moon navigated the forklift through the lobby, creating a scene of utter pandemonium. Guests scattered, bewildered by the unexpected intrusion. The chaos didn't stop there. Moon proceeded to the hotel pool area, where he gleefully drove the forklift into the pool, sending waves of water cascading in all directions. Amidst the splashing and chaos, Moon was reportedly laughing uncontrollably, reveling in the mayhem he had caused. As quickly as the chaos had erupted, Moon and his cohorts made their exit, leaving behind a bewildered hotel staff in a scene that would be talked about for years to come. While the escapade was undoubtedly disruptive and costly, it added another chapter to the legendary tale of Keith Moon's eccentric antics. The hotel hijinks at the Holiday Inn in Flint, Michigan became a notorious incident in rock history, embodying Moon's unpredictable and larger-than-life persona.